these undocumented people who lack resources and lack a voice and, and lack that positive attitude, it's really hard for them to go. And financially, it, it's even harder because a medical bill for an undocumented person who has no insurance has no rights. Extremely hard. I don't even remember the last time I went to see a doctor or the last time I went to the dentist. But I do know that I need to brush my teeth at least twice a day. I need to drink a lot of water. And I know that I need to eat a lot of vegetables. And that those are the keys to being healthy. Um, and How do you think your mom dealt with this depression, anger? being a woman undocumented? My mother suffered a lot. Um, you know, fidelity, violence. A lot of women have suffered uh, from being emotionally, mentally, physically abused. And my mother has just dealt with it. She She's kept it all inside. Just like many, many, many um, women who are undocumented, specifically. Um, they just they just cry. They, I know that I would hear her. She would close her door. And when my dad would leave, she would just start crying and crying for hours. And I would hear her. And she would always say that she was okay and she was happy. But she wasn't. She she's not. She wasn't. She she hasn't. She hasn't been happy with herself. She's happy of of who I become. She's happy of my brother and who he's become and, and the beautiful children that he's raised. But she's not happy with herself. And that is even more motivational to me because Eventually, I want to get to a point where I'm able to to help her with that, you know, where she doesn't have to worry about us, where she doesn't have to worry about being deported, where she doesn't have to worry about going to work, waking up every day in the morning, and all she has to worry about is herself and and what makes her happy. How, she, do, you, how do you deal with this? Tension, this anger. Um, I I don't know. I <laughs> I really don't. Um, yes, you do. I I see the world as as a beautiful place, and I know that we all humans have a heart, and that we we can all change. Um, it's a human instinct. Like it's human. We we were. We are able to change. We adapt to change. That's how humans are for for many decades. So I know that if I stay positive and I and I keep and I keep fighting for my dreams, that everything will go in its place how it's supposed to. I, I just keep I just keep my head up and and I smile because because I'm proud of everything I've done and I keep my goals in my mind. I, I know what I want to be and I know what I want to do in life and and being sad and and doing the wrong things like taking drugs, um, getting overdose on painkillers or getting drunk and, and not having a job, being lazy, being a procrastinator, you know, being negative will not get me there. But being positive, waking up every morning with a good attitude, being as productive as I can, not wasting heartbeats, because, you know, we're wasting heartbeats anyways. Might, might as well waste them on something that's worthwhile. So if you see the other painting, you're going to see uh, a bald woman without hair. It's 
the really harsh losing to a woman when she lost her hair. But she's, because of the country, because what happened in Iraq, but she's still holding him like a baby. Like she don't care. She lost her hair and she's suffering. Even the palm tree is bending around her, like kind of holding her and it's close to die, but it's still around her and around the country. And you can see the sun is red like blood. There is no hope, only love, only the love that we still have in our heart to that country, to our country, actually. So that was the first thing I paint while ISIS entering Baghdad and the things that are happening there. It's kind of sad, but the same times, the love that the relation between her and between the country and the way she's holding the map, it's promising. There's hope somehow. What's your hope? My hope? Peace is a simple word. Love is also a simple word. But it's hard to have, it's hard to act. Yeah. Do you find hope and love and peace here? No, I find safety. It's a different word. It's something we're missing all the time there in my country. It's hard. It's hard to, to change your place. It's hard to move on in another place. But it's something you must do if you want to keep living. But in my country, there's love. Whereas there's no safety, there is no uh, safe, um, there is no safe person in the night. Maybe you're gonna kill, maybe you're gonna explode. But there is love. It's a hard equation. Sometimes love is not enough. Yeah. So. What about safety without love? It's also not enough. It's not enough at all. It's hard. It, because we are trying here to balancing to living without love or to die without safety. So I told you, it's a really hard equation. But we have to move on. Like sometimes you, you get tread or you choose something. Maybe you're going to choose to, to die in love or you can live safely also in love far away. And you're still struggling all your life of that, the love that you lost. When you think about Baghdad. Yeah. And you were born in Baghdad. Yeah. I born in Baghdad. What are your memories of Baghdad? My memory, to be honest, is, uh, was like love, voices, happy voices, noise, and family, friends, um, war, even in the war, during the war, when we hear the voice of the bombs and we were, but we were, we were together, we were hiding together in the basement, like we are aware, totally aware that maybe this explosion is going to be between us and we're going to all tear apart, but we're still together. So that's, so this is the equation that I'm told, 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 t telling you about. It's, we raised in love, fear, and safety. We have, and we have to live with that all the time. So, yeah, it's, it was amazing because I really enjoyed it. And if you ask any Iraqis right now, how was your childhood and what you remember, he's going to say, I remember my family, friends, good happy times and fear and war. War, it's a, um, a situation we lived, living, we lived with. So it's kind of normal to we still have dreams about the voice of war all the time. It's kind of like, like, let me tell you something. The love that we have in our families make us not, not accepting the war, makes the war looks silly. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So we could, we, could, we, could, we could move on and live in the war in Iraq, although it was really hard. But the, wars, the situation now, it's different.
because the people are killing and they are hiding and there is no love anymore. There is nothing makes you that support and strength as how it was before. Do you miss Baghdad? Honestly, no, because I'm still there. I'm still totally there and, and I couldn't admit that because I'm here right now, yes, and I'm totally aware that I have to move on. But when I paint and paint all my paintings about Baghdad, all the articles that I write it's about Baghdad, um, my memories, my dreams, I'm, I'm considering Baghdad not as, as a city, it's about a princess. Uh, a very beautiful princess and uh, she's losing and she's lost a lot but she's still a princess so I'm kind of like treating her like a beautiful princess so she so no I'm not missing Baghdad I'm still there but I'm, I'm missing my family I'm missing my friends I'm missing that's physical things that that I can see in life yeah what do you think about Houston? Is she a princess too? I love Houston. You cannot believe that. Even my family, when they asked me about, are you okay with that? And there, in that place, and you don't know anyone, you don't have your family or many friends. And I said, the strange thing that since I came here, um, I'm not struggling because I am afraid or I didn't like the place. No, I do like the place, but I'm new here. You, you understand me? I'm a new here. Like, the place is all new, but sometimes when you travel to a place, it's, there's a first spark. If you like that place, or you're gonna be afraid and not happy with, in that place. No, I like the place. I like the United States since I came here. Because you know the diversity? Diversity is really important thing. Because everyone can live in that place. Has a special, even small place to live in but he can still exist or feel that he's okay, he's welcoming to be there. So that's help, helped me a lot. Like, mm -hmm. I'm okay. I love Houston. Do you love Houston the same way you love Baghdad? Or it's totally different love? It's totally different love. Yeah, it's totally different love. 